What's up guys and welcome back to Alaska Cabin Adventures. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I got my first solar panel and portable power station out here at the cabin recently. So I'm gonna give you an update on how that's been working. And I also wanna show you some of the new gizmos that I got. I've been really excited about solar. So I went ahead and got a couple other solar powered things for out here at the cabin. So let's go check them out. All right guys, so I'll start off with a quick update from my last video. This is my 100 watt EcoFlow flexible solar panel. And I have it plugged into my Delta II portable power station. And uh, the combination has been fantastic. I almost never run my generator now that the sun is finally starting to shine really bright. We have really long days up here in Alaska. So right now it's getting light at like, I don't know, 6.30 in the morning, maybe even earlier. And uh, stays light till about 10.30 at night. At the peak, this panel is pulling in about 80 watts, which is what it's pulling in right now because uh, the sun is full right on it. And I'll show you guys how I've rigged this thing up to kind of um, rotate with the sun. So to give you guys an idea, my cabin is east facing this direction and south facing this direction. So um, the morning sun comes across the east side and then by the afternoon, it's just full sun all the way across the southern sky until it finally kind of dips over and sets in the west there. So that means that the panel sort of needs to be changing as the sun goes with it. That's one of the unique things about Alaska is that the sun kind of goes across the horizon instead of sort of up and overhead. So I kind of have to have this rotating panel thing, which a lot of you put in the suggestions. So I much appreciate all the comments and suggestions on my last videos, by the way, they're very helpful. Some really smart folks out there. All right, so here's what I have rigged up for now. It's nothing special, but it works really well, actually. I just have the solar panel hanging from a string on a hook, and then down below, I have this bungee right here. And so this bungee kind of holds the panel where I want it to be. So when the sun's facing here, I just point it this way. And as it moves across the sky, I just rotate the panel and then the bungee holds it in place. And so every couple hours or so, I kind of have to readjust where it is. But just a really easy solution for now. I think I'm gonna get uh, bigger panels and probably install a couple on the east side of the building and then maybe some up on top of the roof on the south side facing. I still haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna deal with the snow and all that. But um, anyway, it's been amazing. I have to say the switch to solar has been a game changer and really inspiring. So like I said, I got another couple of cool solar toys that I'll show you guys real quick. So one of the biggest draws on the electricity out here is my refrigerator. And so I decided it would be cool to get a solar powered refrigerator. And uh, this is the EcoFlow Glacier. And basically it runs off of a DC battery and you can charge it up with the portable power station or with shore power, or you can plug it directly into the solar panel. There's a few reasons that I thought this would be particularly effective out here at the cabin. And a big one is that it opens up from the top so you don't lose all that cold air when you open it up. Also, since it's battery powered, I figured I could have my power station and generator totally off and still be keeping my food cold. I've uh, always thought about digging down a little root cellar to keep my stuff cold just in the ground. But with bears and other critters laying around, I really don't want my food just sitting out in the yard. Anyway, this thing is actually awesome. I just got it and so I'm still kind of testing it out but it has two compartments in it, the left side and the right side, which you can kind of customize to whatever temperature you want. So you could do like refrigerator freezer, which is how I have it set up now. I've got like freezer meals and then, you know, the fridge side, I got eggs and cheese and things like that. You can also set it so that this side would be the freezer and this side would be the fridge or fridge, fridge, freezer, freezer, however you want to design the temperature ranges you can just with two separate ones. And then it has this door in here that actually pops out. So if you want, you can pop that thing out and just have one big compartment. And then has a display over here. And basically I have my two different temperature settings. So I have the left side and the right side. And again, I can kind of customize those however I want. Um, and then this is cool. It has an ice maker, which uh, we're gonna test out. You just put water in here and then this little ice tray, I guess it makes ice really quickly. So we'll give that thing a test here in a minute. I haven't tried it out yet. So I've tested this thing to see how long it would go without plugging it in to any kind of power. And it went for 48 hours and still wasn't dead. So you can definitely get at least two days of refrigeration and freezer out of this thing, totally unplugged, assuming that the battery's all charged up, which is cool. So, you know, when I go camping or um, don't have the power on for a long time, this thing's just gonna go and go and go. It seems to sip energy really well. So this is a cool product. Like I said, it's called the Glacier. Um, it's an e another EcoFlow thing. Well, I've been waiting for the camera to be running to test out this ice maker. So let's see how it works. So I think all you do, is press the ice make button. There we go. All right, it says 12 minutes. 12 minutes to make ice, wow. We'll see how it works. We'll check back in 12 minutes. All right, well, while the ice maker is doing its thing, I wanted to take a second to show you something I am just over the moon excited about. Um, this is my first security camera out here at the cabin. Uh, security camera slash trail camera. 
It's the uh, Rio Link. Um, it's called the uh, Keen Ranger PT. So Keen partnered with Rio Link to make a trail camera. So it's camouflaged. And um, what's awesome about the camera is that it is solar powered. It comes with this little solar panel and it hooks right into it and then you just mount the solar panel somewhere that will get some sunshine and you never have to recharge the batteries or worry about it dying assuming that there's enough sun to uh, keep it running which we'll see how that works in the winter i don't know this will be a fun experiment uh, but like i said i'm just solar obsessed all of a sudden so i thought this would be a great addition to the cabin since i'm off grid out here and all my power comes from the power station and the generator Having this totally untethered to all of that was essential. And so this one is cellular. Basically you just put a SIM card like you would in your phone in here and you need like a, a data plan, but you only need about one gig a month. So the data plan that I found is really cheap. So I don't have Wi-Fi or Starlink or anything like that out here, but I do get cell phone service. And this one will talk directly to my phone. And so it's completely self-sustaining between the solar panel and the cellular. I don't have to do anything to it. I don't have to go out and check the card. If someone was to try to break into my cabin, as soon as the camera saw them and detected motion, it would start recording and it would notify me on my phone and it would save that recording. So even if they took the camera down and destroyed it and got rid of the SD card, I would still have the footage and um, hopefully they'd be busted. So of course security is a big factor for wanting a camera like this, but the bigger reason that I wanted it was to catch video of game. Um, I'm always curious what happens out here. I see a lot of tracks. I know there's fox, there's bears, I've seen beaver on the property. Pine Martin, you name it, all sorts of Alaskan critters are out here. So I thought it'd be awesome to catch them on video. And if I am unfortunate enough to have someone try to break into my cabin, this will be a great security point for that. So anyway, we're gonna get this thing set up today and see if we can find somewhere that the solar panel will take in the most light and see how it works. All right, so it's been 12 minutes and this thing just dinged at me, so let's check it out. It just has these little pegs that I assume just get super cold and freezes the water around them. And then you pull this little tray out and voila, you've got ice. Let's see here. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Pretty cool actually. All right guys, check it out. I got my camera set up on the corner of my Eve with the solar panel just right next to it on the same block that I have my big solar panel set up on. And uh, that way I can see if anyone comes up my driveway. And I can also rotate this thing 360 degrees to see all around so I could check out what's happening over here on the side of the cabin or on the other side of the cabin. And I can also even see all the way down to the pond. It's called the Rio Link Keen Ranger PT. I will put a link to it in the description. And again, this is all solar powered and cellular transmitted. And I will show you guys the app for that here in just a second too. All right guys, so I got the camera all hooked up to my phone. I'm starting to check out some of the features and functions that it has. And I gotta say, this thing is pretty cool. It has a talk button. So on my phone, I can press a button and then talk through this thing. It also will notify me when it detects motion and I can kind of set the parameters of whatever that motion is, whether it's a, an animal or a person or a vehicle, it can, it can tell the difference between them. It actually shows on the screen, it's facing out towards the pond. Let's say I'm back in town getting groceries or something like that and I get an alert on my phone that there's motion and I see that it's someone who needs to be scared off, I can press this button. That thing starts going off. I don't know, I think that'd probably work pretty good for scaring somebody off. And if not, like I said, I can talk to them. All right, so I got one more toy to show you guys. It's also a solar powered gizmo and I've got it up in the loft. So let's go check it out. All right, so this is yet another EcoFlow product. If you can't tell, I've been pretty stoked with their stuff. Uh, this is called the Wave 2 and this is a um, portable air conditioner and heater unit. So it's battery powered, you can take it anywhere. And um, I thought it would be nice for having in the cabin because up here in the loft in the summer, it can actually get really hot. It's pretty well insulated. And by the end of the day, after the sun's been baking on the cabin all day, it just gets warm up here, even with the window open. So I thought having an air conditioner would be nice, but obviously I've never had enough power through my generator to push one. So I thought this would be a good option. You can either plug it into the wall if you have enough juice to power it, which I think my Delta II will actually power this thing. Um, but more importantly, it has a battery pack that will um, push it and then I can recharge that battery again with solar. I thought this would also be great for having out my camper. Uh, in the summer, it can get really, really hot in those little fiberglass campers. And so an air conditioner unit would be cool, especially a nice small compact one that I don't have to plug into anything. 
And then also if it starts getting cold, I can use it as a heater. So it's kind of a dual function temperature controller. Anyway, I haven't had a chance to really put it to the test yet, but I did fire it up and um, it had cold air coming out of it right quick. And uh, we'll see how long the battery lasts on it. I'm not really sure. Anyway, this is the EcoFlow Wave 2. And again, I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, it's blowing out cold air right now. And it's actually nice and quiet, um, which is really important for me. So if you guys can't tell, I'm pretty much solar obsessed ever since I got that first solar panel, as many of you predicted. So yes, you were right. I wanna give a big thanks to everyone who commented on my last video. Um, I'm gonna put a link to that here in just a second. If this video was helpful for you guys at all, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all on the next episode of Alaska Cabin Adventures.